speaking to a room full of up and coming writers, do you have kind of that quintessential piece of advice? Like any piece of advice, it's reflective more of my issues than reality. But my issue was always, I am damned lazy. So my issue has <laughs> always been getting out of the damn chair and sitting down at the damn keyboard. Unless you could do that, it's just not going to happen. So you have to work out a way to do that. And the reason for that is that all writing begins with a chair. And unless you make peace with the chair, unless it becomes your friend instead of your enemy, you're going to fail. It's easy to over-dramatize writing and to make it seem romantic and heroic and like an ordeal. That's death. It has to become habit. It has to become like brushing your teeth. So you do it without any psychic effort. Because if you're counting on your will to get you to the keyboard every day, sooner or later, you're going to miss a day. And then you're going to miss a week. And then you're going to miss a year. And then you're going to miss a life. I could teach you how to write a novel in six words. Okay? Do you want those six words? Yes. First two words are start now. The next three words are work every day. And so many people, I run into this over and over, people who say, well, I'll get down to it as soon as I finish my research. And guess what? You're never going to finish your research. And the last word is finish. If you don't finish the damn thing, you'll never get in the game. You've got to have something to show them. Because everyone can get someone somewhere to look at it. To do that, you've got to have a product. You've got to have a thing. And the turnaround in my career where I was able to jump from wannabe to having done was when an editor whom I met serendipitously said to me, do you have anything to show me? And I did. When she read the first hundred pages of The Master Sniper, she offered me a contract. And that's how the whole damn circus got, got its start. You've got to finish what you start. 